This is the famous Col du Tourmalet in the Pyrenees, one of the most challenging climbs for the riders of the Tour de France. The area offers some of the most attractive mountain scenery in France. Patrick Berger is a match admin chef of the Pâtisserie Royalty in the nearby town of Tarbes. From his croissant to his gâteau creations to his ice cream cakes, everything looks so artistically presented and delicious. Moi, j'ai eu la chance de démarrer le, le métier avec mon père, qui, lequel avait créé euh, l'entreprise euh, Royalty. Mon père était euh, meilleur ouvrier de France Glacier et j'ai conservé euh, des fabrications que lui avait créées, euh, dont l'arlequin qui est euh, toujours euh, à la vente chez nous. C'est un sorbet au citron avec un cocktail de fruits rouges et c'est posé sur, une, sur un fond de meringue. I need to be strong. I want to test everything. Alors euh, ce dessert c'est l'Antalia. C'est une génoise à la pistache avec des incrustations de framboise de pistache et du crumble à la pistache. Ensuite, à nouveau, une crème pistache et un coulis de fruits rouges, fraises, framboises. Mmm, delicious. It is a joy to see Patrick decorating a festive raspberry Saint Honoré cake. And in the true tradition of French pâtisserie, seasonal foods are used in many tarts and desserts. This dessert in a glass, a basil mousse with chocolate baba, is garnished attractively with fresh fruits and was created by Patrick's son. Xavier, also a great pâtissier, who three years ago became a French champion chocolate maker at the tender age of 27. What a talented family! This luscious prune and raisin tart is one of the best desserts of the region. First, I pour a little Jurançon wine over some raisins and leave to macerate. Later, I mix them with two cups of chopped pitted prunes. Then I mash two cooked apples. Next, I cut a round of puff pastry using a flam tin. I spread the apple in the center, top with the prunes, leaving an uncovered edge of one and a half centimeters that I brush with egg wash. I make a crisscross pattern of thin strips of pastry on top of the prunes. To be very successful, make sure that the pastry is very chilled and that your kitchen is not too hot. To obtain a lovely golden color, I brush the top of the pastry with egg wash. I then cook the tart in a hot oven for about 25 minutes. Naturally, the local sweet Jurançon wine is the perfect match for this tart au pruno et raisin sec. The market of Tarbes is a good window on the local specialties. The haricot Tarbes, one of the best beans in France, cooked in a little bit of duck fat, with sausages or in a cassoulet, it is so good. This small producer transformed their own plants into prunes. They are juicy and without any preservatives. The honey from the Pyrenees is much loved and gets its distinctive flavor from the mountain's flowers. What a beautiful region. Tomorrow I'll be in the much loved Dordogne region and I will taste a beautiful wine of Montbazillac.